In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. My dear friends, this Thursday, as you know, we August 15th, when we celebrate the feast, the solemnity of Our Lady's Assumption into Heaven. Many of us remember that when that was decreed in 19, November 1st, 1950, by Pope Pius XII. I remember it. I was just a young boy in school, and it was a glorious day. The Church proclaiming de fide, an absolute dogma of the faith that the Blessed Virgin Mary was assumed body and soul into heaven at the end of her earthly life. This, is, this was a glorious tribute to the Blessed Virgin Mary. And it was a great sign of hope for all of us because with our proof that Our Lady was assumed into heaven, we knew that she sat at the right hand of her son, Jesus Christ, interceding and praying for us and awaiting our coming to heaven. And we knew that our Blessed Mother was there in heaven, praying for us, awaiting for us. And this is the most wonderful thing in the world. We can see this, the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary as the crowning glory of her journey of faith in this life. The crowning glory. And can you imagine how, when she, t when she left this world, I almost said when she died, and we know that the church didn't say she died. We're not sure if the lady died. The Eastern Church says she fell asleep, and they celebrate the dormition of the Blessed Virgin Mary, her sleeping. And even Pope Pius XII said at the, in the bull, munifis, munifis, mis, munif, munis, munificentimus Deus, the munificent God, said at the end of her earthly sojourn, at the end of her earthly life, our Blessed Mother was assumed body and soul into heaven. So we celebrate this wonderful feast on Thursday. And thank God it's a holy day of obligation here in which we can praise Our Lady and rejoice with the Holy Church, praying at Mass the glory of Our Lady, the crowning glory of her earthly sojourn. And this, we know, was the fourth dogma that the Church had proclaimed about the Blessed Virgin Mary, the fourth one in 1950. We hope for a fifth one coming up. We hope that Our Lady will be declared co-redemptrix and mediatrix of all graces. That's a teaching of the Church. Uh, the Church has said that Our Lady was the cooperator with Jesus from the very first moment of Jesus' life when she brought him into this world until the end of his life when she sacrificed him on the cross. She offered up Jesus to his Heavenly Father so Our Lady cooperated with Jesus in the work of our redemption. And that's why we say she was the co-redemptrix. Co meaning helper, not equal. She's not equal to Jesus. It was Jesus who saved us. But Our Lady was there at every moment of his life. From the moment she brought him into this life,